Alright, so this is the second day of the Iraq Veteran 8888 YouTube shoot. I'm bringing this out for some of the guys at Moss Pond to use. Uh, they wanted to try one of their new stock systems, so uh, they wanted a machine gun to do it on, so I brought this out for them. Last night was kind of interesting. Uh, the Moss Pond guys invited us out to dinner, and we were wondering about, you know, okay, well, it's a 16-minute drive, you know, uh, do we really want to go out there? And I'm like, wait a minute. I checked it out via map, and both of our houses are on the lake, Lake Hartwell and it's only about half a mile as a crow flies by water. So we stole canoes, totally rolled up on their dock. They weren't answering the phone because nobody actually has service out there, so we just kind of hoped to God we weren't going to get shot. But uh, yeah, we had dinner with the, the Moss Pond guys. It was very cool. We appreciate them having us out. And yeah, we were the absolute madmen that showed up in canoes. Go for it! Yeah, we baked off the Cerakote. So we'll get the closest video of this barrel. There it is. So John Patton has graciously uh, allowed some of us to come here and do some high speed filming with an incredible camera. I've never seen a camera before that needed a generator to run. So this thing is going to be badass. I actually have no idea how fast the frame rate is, but it's going to be stupid. Right about there, should be good. Three, two, one, send it! <laughs> like that? Yeah. I went like this. It's melting AK. Oh, is that round fucked up? Yeah. The drum's dying. Okay. Testament to the product. The Chinese drum failed before the gun would. That was actually pretty cool. Well, I hope you guys had a great time. And uh, y'all were making the AK bark, man. And, uh, yeah, CMMG left yesterday. We are thinking, well, it's going to be quiet on this end of the line. No. Nope. It's still loud. Hey, and let me know when that 50 is ready. We're going to, we're going to, yeah. That's going to be interesting. So we're now driving home back to Fayetteville. I actually have resigned myself to the fact that I was going to have to rebuild that gun. I thought, you know, we were going to run this so hot because we had the 100, it's either 100 or 120 round Chinese drums. And uh, we, we were just running that thing so hot, the Cerakote was baking off. We were worried that like the barrel was starting to droop and all sorts of shit like that. And so I just figured like, okay, well, I'm going to have to re-barrel this gun. I'm going to have to completely rebuild it. We're going to just run it until it dies. We were trying to get it to catch fire. Uh, we're just abusing the hell out of this gun, and we never had to. And, uh, I mean, that that impressed me honestly a little bit. I was I was totally thinking that I was gonna have to rebuild it, but she's fine. She's good to go, and I guess we're just gonna have to keep pushing her until she breaks, and then we'll fix it and break it again. 
our Airbnb was fucking haunted. There was a room downstairs that we were thinking, like, it just looked like a hospice room, like, Grandma died there. It was just a fucking very, very weird, weird Airbnb. So Jordan, I guess, has a deal set up with Fleer or something like that. We had some really nice NVGs out. One of the nights, just for shits and giggles, we left the NVGs out with the camera, and we think we caught a ghost. So this is, like, really fucking crazy. Uh, this is the undoctored footage. <laughs> Oh, my God. 